My name is Tony Caro. I'm a program executive, uh, especially for uh, Messenger and Dawn. And I also work as program scientist for a couple of uh, foreign collaborations. Well, Messenger is a very important mission because this is the first time uh, we get to orbit Mercury. Uh, we have done several flybys with Messenger 3 and uh, with Mariner 10, uh, we also had done three uh, flybys. But this is, uh, you know, a, a, an important occasion because this is the first time we actually get into orbit. Um, the intention is to spend a year orbiting Mercury and uh, try to answer many scientific questions uh, uh, which are really important, uh, like uh, why Mercury is so dense, uh, the structure of the core of Mercury, the magnetic field, the topography, what minerals are on the surface of Mercury, uh, you know, many, many questions which uh, uh, from the previous flybys we have, uh, you know, a lot of information, but uh, some of these questions have not been completely settled yet. You know, many questions that we have about uh, Mercury is, uh, are like, uh, why is uh, Mercury so dense? Um, you know, the, the nature of the core, um, is it uh, completely solid or is there a part that's li liquid? Why does uh, Mercury have a magnetic field when some of the, the other similar uh, planets, uh, except for Earth, don't have a, a magnetic field? Um, exactly what type of magnetic field it has? Um, uh, Mercury also has a, an exosphere. Why, uh, why elements are a part of the exosphere? Why, you know, how the exosphere originated? There are many unknowns that are important, uh, you know, in, in the scientific knowledge of the uh, solar system and the evolution of the uh, planets in the solar system. Learning Mercury uh, about Mercury, you know, gives you information of uh, how the uh, uh, you know solar system has evolved, especially how the other. Uh, similar planets like Earth, uh, uh, Venus, Mars have evolved and uh, why Mercury you know, has evolved differently from the other ones.